Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. Our prayers today come from Revised Common Lectionary Prayers, published by Augsburg Fortress. And this week we are talking about listening. In the next few moments, I invite you to reflect on if you have ever been in a situation where it was clear that no matter what you said, the person to whom you were speaking was not listening. How did that make you feel? Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 86, verses 1 through 10 from the New Revised Standard Version. Listen now for God's word to us. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble, I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Let us pray. Light of life. You came in flesh, born into human pain and joy, and gave us power to be your children. Grant us faith, O Christ, to see your presence among us, so that all of creation may sing new songs of gladness and walk in the way of peace. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verses 10 through 31 from the Common English Bible. Listen for God's word. Then the Lord's word came to Samuel. I regret making Saul king because he has turned away from following me and hasn't done what I said. Samuel was upset at this and he prayed to the Lord all night long. Samuel got up early in the morning to meet Saul and was told Saul went to Carmel where he is setting up a monument for himself. Then he left and went down to Gilgal. When Samuel reached Saul, Saul greeted him, The Lord bless you. I have done what the Lord said. Then what, Samuel asked, is this bleeding of sheep in my ears and mooing of cattle I hear? They were taken from the Amalekites, Saul said, because the troops spared the best sheep and cattle in order to sacrifice them to the Lord our God. The rest was placed under the ban. Samuel then said to Saul, Enough. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Tell me, Saul replied. Samuel said, Even if you think you are insignificant, aren't you the leader of Israel's tribes? The Lord anointed you king over Israel. The Lord sent you on a mission, instructing you, go and put the sinful Amalekites under the ban. Fight against them until you've wiped them out. Why didn't you obey the Lord? You did evil in the Lord's eyes when you tore into the plunder. But I did obey the Lord, Saul protested to Samuel. I went on the mission the Lord sent me on. I captured Agag, the Amalekite king, and I put the Amalekites under the ban. 
Yes, the troops took sheep and cattle from the plunder, the very best items placed under the ban, but in order to sacrifice them to the Lord your God at Gilgal. Then Samuel replied, Does the Lord want entirely burned offerings and sacrifices as much as obedience to the Lord? Listen to this. Obeying is better than sacrificing. Paying attention better than fat from rams because rebellion is as bad as the sin of divination. Arrogance is like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected what the Lord said, he has rejected you as king. Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned because I disobeyed the Lord's command and your instructions. But I was afraid of the troops and obeyed them. But now please forgive my sin. Come back with me so I can worship the Lord. But Samuel said to Saul, I can't return with you because you have rejected what the Lord said. And the Lord has rejected you from being king over Israel. Samuel turned to leave, but Saul grabbed at the end of his robe and it ripped. Then Samuel told him, the Lord has ripped the kingdom of Israel from you today. He will give it to a friend of yours, someone who is more worthy than you. What's more, the enduring one of Israel doesn't take back what he says and doesn't change his mind. He is not a human being who would change his mind. I have sinned, Saul said. But please honor me in front of my people's elders and before Israel and come back with me so I can worship the Lord your God. So Samuel went back with Saul and Saul worshiped the Lord. Samuel tells Saul here that paying attention is better than fat from rams. In the Message Bible, Eugene Peterson paraphrases it by saying, God wants you to listen to him. Plain listening is the thing, not staging a lavish religious production. Yet for most of us, it is much easier to put on a show than to truly listen to God. Where have you neglected to listen to God recently? Our New Testament reading today comes from Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 11, and this is from the Inclusive Bible. Listen again for God's word. Now a couple, Ananias and Sapphira, sold a piece of their property too, but they conspired to keep part of the proceeds for themselves. Ananias brought the remainder and presented it to the apostles. Peter said, Ananias? Has Satan so possessed you that you lied to the Holy Spirit by secretly withholding part of the proceeds of the property? It belonged to you and Sapphira before you sold it, didn't it? And when you sold it, didn't you still have control of the money? How could you have conceived such a thing in your heart? You have not lied to people. You have lied to God. When Ananias heard this, he dropped dead on the spot. Great fear came upon all those present. Young people in the crowd came up, wrapped up the body, and took it away for burial. About three hours later, Sapphira entered. She was unaware of what had happened. Peter said to her, did you sell the property for such and such a price? Yes, she replied, that was the price. Peter said to her, why did you conspire to test the spirit of our God? Listen, the feet of those who buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out as well. She immediately dropped dead at his feet. 
The young people entered and found her dead, so they carried her out and buried her next to her husband. Great fear overcame the whole church and all who heard about this incident. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This story is an extreme reminder of the importance of being honest with God. Throughout your life, when have you been dishonest with God? Have you ever experienced consequences? Let us pray. We bless you, Abba, Father, for you have visited your people in one like us in all things but sin, and in human fragility you have revealed the face of divinity. Gather into your arms all the peoples of the world so that in your embrace we may find blessing, peace, and the fullness of our inheritance as your daughters and sons. Amen. Friends, may you embrace the work and wonder of this day with fresh commitment. Go forward in the power of the love of God and in the company of Jesus Christ and by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And go in peace. I'll see you tomorrow.